what's going on everybody it's your boy here for another review for you guys on time all right real uh, real housewives of Atlanta season eight episode three all right so it starts out with Phaedra and Horsha, so they're getting a colonic, but again, I guess both of them should be used to sticking shit up their asses, right? Right. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck we go from a head doctor to a poop doctor, but that, that's beyond me. Uh, Horsha is not happy about uh, the comments that were made about uh, her man, about the negativity and all the other stuff. So, of course, we know she's going to confront Candy. But I highly doubt we're going to see her confront Johnny on camera. I'm just saying. Um, and, you know, Phaedra talks to uh, her about her situation with Candy. And, you know, how she feels heartbroken this, that, and the third about the whole thing. But, see, again, this is why I can't get, not, this is why I cannot get down with fake drug. Because, it's like, so you're crying to this woman. Y'all, you're crying in the house and the phases, that, and the third. Y'all supposed to have moved on, but yeah, you still want to sit here and talk shit behind her back when y'all should have moved on. Okay, any fucking way. So now we got uh, Cynthia Bayless. So Leon stops by to interview a tutor for Noel because apparently uh, she wants to now get into acting and singing, so she's going to need to be homeschooled, right? So Cynthia uh, appears to be uh, very uh, visually fond of uh, this tutor. Talking about some, if uh, her teacher like that, she would have been valid Victoria. I'm like, I'm on that scene. Don't, don't, don't be horn for us. I don't do that. Leon talks to her and says, you know, about her situation. Because, of course, they, you know, he knows what goes on. Because people going to let him know what your baby mama doing. And she, I'm sorry, your, your ba baby's a mother, not mama. Mother is doing. And Leon wants her to fight for her marriage. And you know what, child? She need to fight for her marriage like you to fight that motherfucking perm in your head. But go ahead, Leon. I'm here for you. Ooh, yeah. so Portia is a celebrity track me candy stops by they uh, pretty much rehash um, the night well the little uh, party thing that she threw for uh, Duke and candy pretty much made it perfectly clear about her sense things so, because it was kind of created and edited for us to think that candy was just on some real photo shit but candy pretty much like I told you right background check this and third and on some real shit we told you when you were married certain shit you didn't want to believe us and was all said and done he was like hey y'all were right so i'm just trying to help you out and i'm trying to keep you from going down the wrong path and being her woo wop the woo so it seemed like <clears> horse <throat> she was trying to have a moment to have a moment whatever what else we got so kenya is um working on her uh more hair care line more hair care hairline there we go um, which we saw uh, during uh, her, um, uh, what was it called again, child? And then this is absolutely no shit. Life tour was on. Okay. <clears throat> uh, for her uh, life tour was on. And, um, you know, you we kind of saw like almost like the hair infomercial and everything. We saw like several fucking times. I'm just saying I did not want to see it as many times as I did. But it's been the worth for like the past few years and she's now ready to act on it. And you know, Marlo's there, Marlo's telling her, you know, they're talking about the uh, other night, what happened. You know, Marlo pretty much telling her, like, y'all gotta work things out. Can you talking about, so, oh, maybe we should have a rent party? I, I nip off, fell the fuck out. I was like, damn, she just going the fuck in. This shit was fucking hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. But um, she agrees that, you know, they're gonna work something out. I think she's even gonna go so far as to invite her to this party that she's having. Uh, she's having, if I didn't already say it, like a little uh, lunch party type thing for her care, hair, uh, la, 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 her hair care line. So <clears throat> we'll see how this all plays out. Okay. So Cindy is at home alone thinking about her marriage. Try calling Peter. He's not answering. Uh, Kim is um, and her hubby. Uh, yeah, they're <laughs> they're about to go to King's event. Happy they're about to have no kids. Um, out. Uh, Damn it, night. Fuck, I can't even think right now. Something that they haven't had in a while. I said, I, um, because they have uh, two young children. Um, and you know, she was like, you know, it's um, it's not like she like does the whole girls not out thing. And her husband shades the fuck out of her like, yeah, yeah, because you ain't got no friends. I was just like, well, drop the mic and walk the fuck away. And you got Kenya's event. Our horse is their support, but it's like you know, throwing shade every. Fucking chance that she gets. Um, it's hot in there. Um, 
from what we can see, the uh, products are not there. So they had to fill some of the bottles up with water. You know, so her friend notices that. Shade all over the place. Candy has to leave because it's hot in there. And Kenya was even saying, like, she'd rather be too cold than to be hot. But didn't turn out that way. Shitty walks in looking basic than a motherfucker. Is that the way to come back to TV now? It's really not the way. Especially when you try to make yourself to be, you know, something more grand than what you really are. And, of course, uh, Kenya twirls on now of her event. We'll see what happens next. Okay, so everybody <clears throat> is, um... At the party, Kim is, um, you know, kind of asking, like, where are all the husbands at? Because she has her husband there. And, oh, my God. It's <laughs> like, the look on their faces is fucking priceless. You have a uh, fake saying, oh, well, my husband's in prison, so you got to worry about it. Mm -hmm. You have Cynthia, you know, been married for five years. Oh, it's good. But I'm mad at my husband right now. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? And the only other married person is not there, which is Candy. It's fucking insane. So, now we leave a good impression on uh, Miss Kim. I thought this was going to be the moment that, you know, uh, you know, uh, Horsha was going to say some dumb shit to Kim, but uh, I guess I got to keep waiting. I also got to wait for that, you know, good punch kick to the motherfucking chest, but we know that's probably going to be in, like, episode 14, 15 and shit, so I got to really wait for that one. Um, let me see Horsha's friend tries to, you know, shake Kenya and whatnot. Try to get some up on the shine on TV. It is what the fuck it is. Being messy. I don't care. Uh, Shitty and Kenya, you know they go ahead and bury the hatchet. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> now we have Peter and Cynthia. You know, Peter is saying that the issue between them is that uh, <clears throat> they don't spend enough time with each other. More or less saying that she does not make time. And she pretty much tells him, it's like, uh, I've made sacrifices <laughs> to fucking be with you. You know, uprooting myself, my daughter, bringing us down here, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. So Peter is, you know, telling Cynthia. That, now, Cynthia is not saying to him that this is your fault that we are here. Because he keeps saying it's our fault. Yeah, he turns around and says it's your fault. I'm just like, bruh, you doing the absolute most with the absolute fucking least right now. She even said that even when it's like them spending time with each other, I'm not the one that put a fucking um, a restaurant in fucking Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, hey, it is what the fuck it is. And, um, you know, send, you know, send the premise is like, you can say that you love me. And, but that doesn't make it so you know if I don't see it if I don't feel it meaning if you ain't showing it doesn't mean anything you feel me and you know <clears throat> she pretty much told him just like I'm not in love with you right now and I think that the tears that Peter cried I think those were legit I could be wrong I could be wrong but I think the tears he gave us were genuine he wants to know like how do they get back to where they, where they were and you know uh, Cynthia whole thing is let's give it one more go we'll see what happens after that but what I'm gonna say is this I think what they fucked up at is is like they're not tackling the real issue and it seems just like they're jumping around when it's one of those where whatever the issue is more or less Peter you know not keeping his hands to himself like she needs to hold his ass accountable okay hold Patricia as accountable for what the fuck he does and does not do and make his ass fucking sit in it but don't allow him to sit here and change subject to where y'all jumping all around from topic to motherfucking topic okay let me go ahead and get through this so uh Cynthia brings up pretty much ultimatum backdoors pretty much you know divorce he feels that you know hey you should work shit out blah 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 you know if man and woman get together and they stay together whatever you know um uh, yeah, her whole thing is uh, that's why uh, there's such things called divorce because shit doesn't work out. But they're gonna give another go. But what I do want to talk about is fuck the bullshit. I think the motherfucking you know death kick from motherfucking hell is gonna happen next motherfucking week, y'all. I cannot if it happened next week. I'm gonna tell y'all my ass gonna be floored. I'm. It is what the fuck it is. I've been I've been waiting for this motherfucker, you know, Chuck Norris kick to the motherfucking chest and shit. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this motherfucking review and shit. Uh yeah, that's all I got. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys next week. Alright. Peace.